Hey everyone, it's Lexi. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you some of my most anticipated new releases for the last half of 2022. It's crazy to think that we are officially kind of halfway through 2022 now. Where has the time gone? I feel like by the time I know it, I'm going to be graduating, which is crazy to think. My, my goal is to graduate next spring, so... I feel like this like next year is just gonna fly by so um besides time flying very kind of fast these days um these are books that i am most excited about for coming out kind of from july onwards so i have like my little notion page where i keep track of like release dates the author all that fun stuff so um there are quite a lot of books in here and some of them i will go through a little bit faster just because they're a continuation of a series that has been out for a while and I for especially a lot of these are like the crime series so I don't want to know too much about that but I'll definitely go into more detail about some of the other books in here as well so yeah without further ado let's get started so these are the release dates of when I inputted it some of them might have changed and if they have changed I will kind of correct them on the screen here but coming up on July 7 we have Fatal Witness which is the newest release in the Erica Foster series by Robert Brinsda and it's been a while since there has been a new book in this series overall I like marathon this series I want to say a couple years ago so it has been a while since there has been a new a new one basically I think he's been focusing on his Kate Marshall series um, which is also very very good this one follows Erica Foster who is a homicide detective in London and she has kind of like a, a kind of dark past because she was involved in this I want to say it's like a drug bust or there is some bust of some sort and her um, either boyfriend or husband who was also a police officer died in that so, and a couple other officers died in this kind of operation she was in charge of so she's still very much kind of dealing with the aftermath of that and these kind of deal with different homicides taking place in London. Um, next up we have What She Found which is the newest book in the Tracy Crosswhite series by Robert Dagoni. Again like I said there's a lot of crime series releases coming out for this last half of the year. Um, this one falls to Tracy, Tracy Crosswhite who is a homicide detective in Seattle and what made her become a detective is that when she was younger her sister disappeared and was never found again so the first book kind of deals with the finding of her sister's body and actually bringing someone to justice and the series kind of continues on from there. Um, I think I have more in-depth kind of discussions of this series so you can go check out some of my videos um, on my channel if you want to learn more about some of these crime series uh, that I'm kind of going through a little bit fast. So I do have kind of crime series suggestions where I go more in-depth about some of these. So um, just for, you know, basically for time so I don't remember if I said that one comes out August 23rd. Next up on August 30th we have The Ink Black Heart by Robert Galbraith which is also JK Rowling and this is the newest installment in her Cormoran Strike series. This is a really like dark series but I am obsessed with it. Um, again with these crime series I don't want to know anything about the plot. I saw it was coming out in August and I already pre-ordered it. I'm so excited. I also got my lab mate hooked on this series too so I'm very curious to see what Robin and Cormoran have in store next in terms of like their relationship and everything so I'm very curious I'm going down with that ship 100% but this series follows Cormoran Strike who is a private detective and his kind of stories finding um, solving like murders or investigations uh, throughout London which is a lot of fun um, so next up we have uh, also on August 30th is the Lost Girls of Willowbrook by Ellen Marie Wiseman so I'm gonna definitely read the synopsis for this one because I remember reading it and just being oh that sounds super interesting so it says Sage Winters always knew her sister was a little different even though they were identical twins they loved the same things and shared a deep understanding but Rosemary awake to every emotion 
easily move to joy or tears, seem to need more protection for the world. Six years after Rosemary's death from pneumonia, Sage, now 16, still misses her deeply. Their mother perished in a car crash, and Sage's stepfather, Alan, resists being burdened by a responsibility he never wanted. Yet, despite living as near strangers in their Staten Island apartment, Sage is stun stunned to discover that Alan has kept a so shocking secret. Rosemary didn't die. She was committed to Willowbrook State School and has ling lingered there until just a few days ago when she went missing. Sage knows a little about Willowbrook. It also, it's always been a place sh uh, shrouded by rumors and mystery, a place local parents threaten to send misbehaving kids. With no idea what to expect, Sage secretly sets out for Willowbrook determined to find Rosemary. What she learns when she steps through his doors and is mistakenly believed to be her sister will change her life in ways she could never have imagined. This one I think sounds super interesting. It reminds me of... I think what she left behind by Ellen Marie, like the same author, and that one kind of also kind of dealt with like these mental institutions, insane asylums, like that stuff. And so I think this one just sounds super interesting. I read a few of Ellen Marie Wiseman's books. I read The Orphan Collector, which was about the um, 1918 pandemic, which was very interesting reading it from this current kind of viewpoint having gone through a pandemic um, which is very interesting I've liked a lot of her books so I'm this one just sounds super super interesting and very unique as well next up on September 20th is the bullet that Mitch missed by Richard Osman and this is the third book in the Thursday Murder Club series which follows a uh, four retirees that live in a retirement community that form the Thursday Murder Club which is essentially a way for them to they find like cold cases or look at cases that have been solved and see if the police did something wrong so when a murder takes place close to the retirement village they want to be in on the investigation so they find kind of fun ways to insert themselves into this conversation and even though it kind of deals with dark subject matter um, the first one in particular deals with like murder and suicide it always finds some kind of like humor into it which I appreciate there's parts that made me laugh out loud and just how these characters take a lot of stereotypes about older people and kind of turn that on their head it makes it a lot of fun so like I said that one has been a lot of fun so I'm really excited for this book coming out on October 4th we have The Winners by Frederick Backman this is the third book in the Beartown series and again I don't want to know too much about this but it Beartown the first book follows this small town I think in Sweden that is no the only kind of like thing that keeps this town going is the junior hockey team and so when the junior hockey team has gone the farthest it's gone in years everyone is so excited and when the star player of the hockey team ends up raping the general manager's daughter it kind of separates the town and goes into there and it deals with um kind of rape culture and all that stuff. It was a very powerful moving book. I feel like Frederick Backman has such lyrical writing and I'm very curious to see what kind of happens next in terms of the characters and all that stuff. So again, I don't want to know too much about the synopsis for this one, so I'm just going to dive right in. So next up on October 11th, we have the illustrated edition of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix and kind of going on with the Harry Potter theme. On October 18th, we have by Beyond the Wand by Tom Felton, which is basically his memoir talking about um, his experience growing up and doing the Borrowers film, which kind of got him into acting, and then his experience being within the Harry Potter franchise, which I think will be interesting. It says, speaking with great candor and his signature humor, Tom shares his experience growing up as part of the wizarding world while also trying to navigate the muggle world. He tells stories from his early days in the business, like his first acting gig where he was mistaken, uh, where he was mistaken for fellow blonde child actor Michaela Culkin and his Harry Potter edition where in a very Draco-like move he fudged how well he knew the books the series was based on. He reflects on his experience working with cinematic greats such as uh, Alan Rickman, 
Maggie Smith, all these other characters. And perhaps most poignantly, he discusses the lasting relationship he made over um, that decade of filming, including um, with Emma Watson, who started out as a pesky nine-year-old whom he mocked for not knowing what a boom mic was, but who grew, who soon grew into one of his dearest friends. So I think this will be very interesting. I haven't, like, to my knowledge, there isn't any of like the Harry Potter stars have not released anything like this in terms of like a memoir. So I think it'll be very interesting to kind of read, especially like with the reunion, like that, like all, like I'm very much like the nostalgia of Harry Potter movies and just the impact it's had not only on their lives, but also the audience kind of growing up with them, I think is very unique and doesn't happen a lot in pop culture. So it'll be very interesting to see how like what his actual experience was like kind of tackling this multi-million dollar franchise and kind of growing up in public in the public's eye then on november 8th we have cursed which is the sequel to gilded by marissa meyer and i've yet to read gilded so i need to read that but i believe it is a retelling of rumpled still skin um so i believe i need to read that in order to read this one so this is a good reminder that i think in october i'll read that because it seems like an october -y book but yeah, I need to read the first book in order to, you know, read the second one. So, yeah. <laughs> then on November 15th, we have two new releases. So the first one is Have I Told You This Already by Lauren Graham. And this one says it's with her signature sense of humor and down to earth storytelling, Lauren Graham opens up about her years working in the entertainment business from the subline to the ridiculous and shares personal stories about everything from family and friendships to the challenges of aging gracefully in Hollywood. Um, so this one, again, is another one of her memoirs. I've actually read quite a few of her books. I'm looking at my shelf here. I read Someday, Someday, Maybe, and also her Talking As Fast As I Can memoir um, as well. So I'm very curious. I, I'm a big fan, so I'm excited for this one. And then also on that 15th, we also have Dark of Night by Barbara Nicholas, and this is the second book in her newest series, and I haven't read the first one either. Like, I can't even, like, think of the name. Like, what is it called? at first light so I have not even read that one either so this is a good reminder of books I own that are in series that I need to read before these sequels are released so I need to keep that in mind um but yeah that's another one too coming up again I don't even know the premise of this crime series because I haven't even read the first one so that is on me. Next up we have The Choice, which I believe is the final book in the, um, what is this series even called? I don't even know where it is on my shelf. This is bad because like I feel like my TBR is going, is a little out of control right now. Okay, it is The Awakening Trilogy by Nora Roberts, which follows a girl. I have read the first book. I own the second one, haven't read that one. So again, Basically, I have a lot of book series that I need to kind of get caught up on. But this one follows a girl who has always felt something different and she decides on a whim that she's just going to go up to Ireland and kind of live there for a month in a, in a cottage and find herself and she ends up finding that she comes from kind of a elf fae type line and there is this evil dark power that her father defeated and died trying to kind of protect everyone from but it's kind of gotten this resurgence and it kind of goes off from there like i said i haven't read the second one yet so this is also a good reminder that i need to read that before i buy this one and lastly, coming out November 29th is A World of Curiosities by Lise Penny, and this is probably the one that I am most excited about. This is the newest installment in the Inspector Gamache series. I'm just so excited. This is my favorite series of all time. Lise Penny is my favorite author of all time as well. So this, again, is one I don't want to read the synopsis for. I don't even know if there's one out right now, but I don't want to know anything. I just want to dive right in. But basically, the premise of this series is that it follows in Inspector Gamache, who's head of the homicide department in Quebec, and a lot of his crimes that he investigates somehow incorporate this very small town called Three Pines. And yeah, I do have an entire video on why I love this series so much. I'll link that up in the cards. Um, but yeah, my like this is the book that I'm probably most excited for out of all the ones I listed here. So like I said, I'm in just in love with this series and I love it more and more like with each book so I think this is 18 in the series so um, I've read a lot of them at this point and 
yeah, I just love them more and more every with every book. <laughs> so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what some new releases that you are excited about and all of that fun stuff. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.